All right, guys, we're here to talk about the top 10 hottest comic books for April 2021. Let's go. What's up, everyone? My name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 hottest comic books for April 2021. This top 10 list is a list of books that are selling for the most dollars over on eBay. Let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 10 on our list, we have TMNT number one, the third print. This is the first appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Splinter and Shredder. We know all things TMNT is really, really hot right now. It's gotten hotter ever since the last Ronin was honestly really announced and every single one of those TMNT books the keys and all of that stuff has gone up in price. And this book, Team and T1, is one of the biggest ones. And the third print is what everyone wants to get if you don't, if you can't pay for that first print or second print. Right now, this third print is kind of getting out of reach. We saw a CGC 9.8 sell for in 2017 for $600. Here, just a week, a week or so ago, it sold for $5,500 in a CGC 9.8. So coming in here again at number 10, we have Team and Team number one, the third print. All right, guys, if we're talking about the hottest comic books, we already talked about Team and Team number one. Let's talk about ASM number 300 coming in here at number nine on my list. This is the first appearance of Venom. And this book has really, really spiked over the last year or so. A lot of it had to do with Donny Cates writing Venom, the King of Black storyline, and everyone honestly trying to get their hands on an ASM 300. Right now, we saw a CGC 9.8 Direct Edition sell for $5,900 in a blue label, while a double signature signed by Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane and a CGC 9.8 sold for $9,500. That's a ton of money. So again, here at number nine with ASM number 300. All right, guys, coming in at number eight, we got another Team and T book. We're talking about Raphael number one, the first appearance of Casey Jones. It's another one of those Team and T books that's really been skyrocketing over the last six months to a year. It's a book that you used to be able to get in a $600 to $1,000 range in a CGC 9.8. That time has come and passed. Right now, we saw a CGC 9.8 just recently sell for $12,350. That's a ton of money. I'm really happy I have a CGC 9.2 in my collection. And again, here at number eight, we had Raphael number one, the first appearance of Casey Jones. All right, guys, coming in at number seven on our list, we have Hulk number 181, the first full appearance of Wolverine, which it's a key book everyone wants to get in their collection. And there's a lot of speculation about the X-Men and whether they'll be coming to the MCU and if Wolverine will be recast or not. We don't know, but this book is a book that's always been really high in value. And we recently saw two sales of a CGC 9.0 sell for 13,900 and 14,000 with another sale of an 8.5 selling for $12,500. That's why it's number seven on our list. We have Hulk number 181. All right, guys, coming in at number six on our list, we have New Mutants, number 98, the first appearance of Deadpool. This book has honestly been all over the place a couple months ago. It was sitting around $800 to $900 in a CGC 9.8, and that time is already over. We saw a CGC 9.8 newsstand triple signed sell for $15,000. That is a ton of money. That's why it's number six on our list. We have New Mutants 98, the first appearance of Deadpool. All right, guys, we're halfway through our list. Before we get to number five, I do want to thank my channel sponsors. We have comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. If you ever need any comic books pressed, make sure you hit up Eric over at comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. He can press any grade or tier book and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 to get free shipping back to you. And also thank you to the 616comics.com for being a channel sponsor and spons sponsoring my monthly Burke box where you can get uh, about eight to 10 comic books valued around $50 to $100 every single month if you're a channel sponsor. So thank you again to comic book underscore pressing on Instagram and the 616comics.com for sponsoring the Burke Family 54 Comics channel. 
All right, guys, coming in at number five on our list, we have Fantastic Four, number one, the first appearance of the Fantastic Four. Now, we've all already seen a couple of Fantastic Four movies, but there's a lot of rumors and speculation about whether or not and when the Fantastic Four will be making their introduction into the MCU. And all things Fantastic Four, all those keys are really going up in value over the last year or so. We saw a CGC 3.0 low grade sell for $15,000 in a CGC 3.0, like I said. That is a ton of money, but it's the first appearance of the Fantastic Four. That's why it's number five on our list. We have Fantastic Four number one. All right, guys, coming in at number four on our list, we have Spider-Man number one, the first ongoing Spider-Man series and the first appearance of Jonah Jameson and the Chameleon with the origin being retold. If you can't get yourself an AF-15, get yourself a Spider-Man number one. We saw a CGC 3.5 signature series with Stanley's autograph recently sell for $16,500. That is a ton of money and that is awesome. Again, here at number four, we have Spider-Man number one. All right, guys, we've reached the top three. At number three, we have Tales of Suspense, number 39, the first appearance of Iron Man, which this book was thought to be just a key book that wouldn't really go up in value following Iron Man's you know, appearances in MCU. We already know Iron Man is done in MCU, but this book is picking up steam. It is not letting off the gas. We recently saw a CBCS, 7.5 sell for $26,000. That is a ton of money here. But again, we get the first appearance of Iron Man in Tales of Suspense, number 39. All right, guys, coming in at number two on our list, we have X-Men number one, the first Cyclops, Beast, Angel, Marvel Girl, Iceman, Magneto, and Professor X. It's another blue chip comic book. We have that first X-Men book here. And it's a book that just keeps climbing in value. We already talked about how the X-Men should be coming at some point to the MCU. We recently saw a CGC 4.5 sell for $26,000 on eBay, while that 6.0 UK price variant sold for $19,400 with a Stan Lee signature. Again, here at number two, we got X-Men number one. All right, guys, coming in at number one on our list, we have Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. This book is honestly one of the biggest books that a comic book collector can get in their collection. We recently saw a CGC 3.5 signed by Stan Lee go for $54,000 with a blue label CGC 2.5 sell for $22,750. But right before filming this video, I saw a CGC 3.5 4.0 blue label sell for $55,000. That is a ton of money. If you didn't already have this book, you're gonna be paying a lot of money to get yourself at first appearance of Spider-Man. Again, here at number one, we have Amazing Fantasy number 15. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think of today's video. Do you have any of these books? All of that and more. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, go cats, cowabunga, and it's morphin' time.